Okay, thank you, Jordan. Well, the water levels at Lake Belton continue to be at an all-time low. New video from a 6 News viewer shows what it looks like today. Now, these videos got us wondering how is the wildlife impacted by the continuing drought and how much rain will it take to get the water levels back to normal? Well, joining me in the studio is Texas Today reporter Meredith Haas. She has all of the answers. Hey, Meredith, good morning. Good morning. So the lake is close to 19 feet below the level it should be at today, which multiple sources tell me that raises concerns, but also brings up some optimism. A biologist at Texas Parks and Wildlife tells me the ongoing low levels could make fish overcrowded, forcing them to seek out new habitat or new ways to live. Now they would have fewer places to forage or lay eggs, but as the water fluctuates, there's always new things popping up channels that were, were maybe in really deep water or, or maybe actually usable for fish now. And so um, it's not all bad news. The fish aren't just completely suffering. Uh, As mentioned before, the environment is always fluctuating. So even though water levels continue to be very low, there's a chance they can always pick back up. You know, your cowhouse creeks, a major feed, of course, the Leon River, uh, Owl Creek, cowhouse creek. Those are the main feeds in Lake Belton, and for us to get that water, it needs to re, uh, it needs the rain. So it's not certain how much rain really is needed to get that lake to the level it needs to be at. All the U.S. Army Corps knows is it needs to rain just enough into the northwest subsidiaries that Artie Johnson mentions that feed into Lake Belton to get that level back to a place that isn't so concerning. Okay, Meredith, thank you. Very interesting information.